Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel with a new tutorial. In today's tutorial we will see how to turn this 2D image into 3D here as you can see. So we are flying through 3D space here. So without further ado let's get started. So let's create a new composition with full HD one with 24 frames per second and 5 seconds long and click OK next import your picture right click on it go to transform and fit to height this way you can see the whole picture in the comp next thing is to duplicate this picture two times so select it, edit and duplicate then do it again now we have three copies first one will be for the right pillar so I'm going to name it right pillar second one is going to be for the left pillar and the last one is for the background What I'm going to do now is select the right pillar layer and make a mask around the right pillar. I'm going to do the same process for the left pillar in the left pillar layer and for the background layer I'm going to leave it as it is without the pillars. So, to, so the pillars are going to be masked out of the background. For this effect to work in the best way possible, the image you use needs to have objects in the foreground, in our case the pillars and also the background. So now let's start the process. Deactivate the bottom two layers and select the right pillar layer and mask out the pillar. Good. Now deactivate this layer and select the, la the next one which corresponds to the left pillar and mask it out as well. Good. Now deactivate the middle layer and activate the last layer which is the background. Copy the masks you created in the above layers and paste them in the, in the background layer. Now go to these masks you copied and sub subtract them. This way we will subtract the pillars away from the background image and we will be left only with the rest. Activate those layers back on. And make them 3D. Next make a new camera I'm going to make it a 50mm camera switch the view to custom view so you can have a better look of the 3D layers and select the background layer and push it back in Z space Then select the pillars uh, layers and push them forward to the camera. Now switch back to active camera view and let's have a look. Okay, it's all messed up but we will fix it. Let's see. Press S and scale down the pillars till you can see them. Then scale the background up good this looks fine now okay now let's start to animate the camera we will only animate the position so activate the stopwatch make a keyframe and move it forward then start manipulating the position mostly we will do z space 
but as you can see here we are already having some 3D movement and depth if you see those black edges you can simply scale up the background to fill it here we are so now we have a basic 3D animation of this picture I'm going to easy ease this keyframe good now to make this camera animation even better I'm going to try and activate depth of field in the camera settings now I'm not really good at uh, depth of field settings in the After Effects camera so I'm going to mess up until I find a look that I like good now we have the pillars out of focus which helps in selling the 3D feel even more let's do a RAM preview here Excellent. Now this looks really good. You can even make it better by activating motion blur, but the effect here will not be so so clear. It will appear better in faster camera movement. So there you have it, not so much difference. And with this we reach the end of our tutorial. So, as always, if you like it, drop a like, subscribe and a comment below. Also, don't forget to click on that bell icon when you subscribe. This way, you will be notified whenever I drop a new video on the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.